In today's video, I would like to share with you how to customize and set up your tool palette. Now, if you're not familiar with the idea of the tool palette, the first thing we should do is talk about how to open it up. Simplest way is to go into the command line in AutoCAD and type in TP. And you can see the tool palette comes up with the default blocks that AutoCAD supplies. What I want to do today is talk about how to customize this and set this up for your specific needs. So the first thing that we need to do is path where AutoCAD is looking for the tool palettes. Let's go into the command line and go into the options menu. Under the files tab, you can see there's a dropdown for the tool palettes file location. I want to change this path. Um, if you're working, if you're working in a group and you're working on a server, you'd probably want to create a new folder on the server where you keep your tool, your custom tool palettes. This is in a situation if your whole group is going to share um, a common tool palette. If you're working solo, you can just save this on your um, local drive. That's what I'm going to be doing here. So I'm going to hit the browse button and I'm going to go to my C drive. We'll go to the EES folder and I have a folder called CAD where I keep all of my CAD background data, all of my CAD supports files. And I've already gone in and set up a folder called tool palette. That's where I'm keeping these tool palettes. Okay. So I'm going to click on that and say open. I'm going to say okay. Okay, so now when we bring up this tool palette, you can see it's totally empty and it only has one palette. So we have a blank slate and we can start building our custom tool palette. I think most companies deal with their block libraries in one of two different ways. They either have a master drawing that contains all of the um, standard AutoCAD blocks and the idea with this is users open up that drawing, copy the blocks and paste them into the, into the drawing where they need them. The other way I've seen people do it is each block is its own drawing. In order to get to a block, you would go into the insert command and path through the file explorer to find that drawing. The tool palette gives you a much more efficient way to get to your blocks. The blocks that I use on a daily basis, my everyday blocks, I upload those into the tool palette. For the blocks that I do not use every day, you know, the less frequent blocks, I'll keep those in a master block library drawing. And when I need those blocks, I'll open up that library and copy and paste. We can assemble the tool palette using both methods, either the master drawing containing the block library or the individual block drawings. Okay, so I want to change this tab. This tab is going to be, or this palette, I should say, is going to be my annotation palette. So I simply right click on the tab and rename palette. On this annotation palette, I want my north arrow. So you simply click on the block and then drag it over. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the properties and rename it. I'm just going to call it north. You'll see that the tool palette references back to the original drawing where the block came from. So you will need to maintain that relationship. Otherwise the tool palette will not be able to find the blocks that you originally uploaded. I want the bar scale on here too. Click on the block, drag it over. Okay. I would go through and drag each one of these blocks into the tool palette so I could readily access them. And you can see it's really simple to grab the blocks off this tool palette. So let's say I want to insert the north arrow. I click on the, the symbol here and it is ready to go. The block is ready to be inserted into the drawing. Now let's look at Let's look at my site blocks. Let's say like I want this ADA symbol. I'm going to right click on this tab and say new palette. And I'm going to call this one site work. Okay. Same operation. Click the block, drag it over. So that's the process. You know, you keep 
creating different tabs, whatever makes sense to you, how you want to logically break them up. You can also in this in this palette, you can add text if you want to create further organization. Like you could say, you can make a um, group called ADA. How about ADA blocks? Okay. And then drag this guy down below. And so all of your ADA related blocks could go underneath this text. You can also go in and add a separator. So the tool palette, it, it gives you a lot of flexibility. You know, you have, you have these different palettes that you can use to organize your blocks and, and within each palette, you have some options for organization. Okay, now let's say that your organization does not have a, a single drawing with your standard blocks. Each block is its own CAD file. I kind of set up an example here to show you. So I'm gonna go into the file explorer and let's go into my blocks folder. So for instance, I created a separate drawing just containing the um, bar scale block and the north block. It's real simple. All you, all you have to do, grab this file and drag it over and drag this file and drag it over. Okay, that's it for this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as new videos become available. If you want to check out my website, it's www.elephant-eng.com. And thanks for watching and take care.